Hello there, this is Ken, and today we'll talk about Karl Marx and Marxian Socialism. Karl Heinrich Marx was born in 1818. He, he died on March 4, 1883, at the age of 64, due to his severe sickness. He was the founding father of Marxism, the oldest surviving boy out nine in his family. He exhibited a Christian spirit and self sacrifice on behalf of humanity. He was married in 1843 with a woman called Jenny, who was a very attractive and intelligent woman, four years older than Carl. They both supported their relationship, but that's not the case with their family. Omar also introduced to hydro idealism and fuel bad materialism, in which he combined into dialectical materialism. He was also became the editor of Brian Nish Zeitung in October of 1842. He believed in absolute moral, moral standard and criticized censorship heavily, which he called morale evil. He was also associated with the French communist community, but he called their ideas utterly cruel, though he was agreed with their character. He prevented Frederick Angel and together they wrote many articles, including toward the critic of high Jillian philosophy of rights, which this is of course assertion that religion is the optimum of the people. It was there too that he first raised the call for uprising of a proletariat to realize the conception and philosophy. Together they published uh, the Holy Family 1845, criticizing the Hegelian idealism. The next work, the German ideology in 1845, because the fullest expression of the important materialistic conception of history. The poverty of philosophy in 1847. Well, it's clear that no equilibrium was possible between the antagonism in any given economic system. Also, Marx and Angel joined the organization The League of the Judge. Together, they published a pamphlet, The Communist Manifesto in 1848. The Communist Manifesto provided Marx's analytical view of the nature of society and politics, which is of class struggle. He heavily criticized capitalism and believed that one day socialism would take over capitalism. He also predicted the overthrow of social, all social conditions to bring justice and equality to the, all social classes and the call for a communist revolution. Socialism demand for public ownership control of resources and property instead of monopoly. Perhaps the most common form today is Marxian socialism, which Marx firmly believed will only be achieved through the clash of social classes. This is the opposite of capitalism. The easiest way to understand socialism is as to help distribute resources and property among evenly among people so that everyone could get an equal chance of equal opportunity. There is also conflicts between centralist and decentralist in socialism. The authority of socialist nation today Follow the Marxist Leninist model of USSR, most of them are located in the Asia and Africa regions. Their purpose is to balance out the wealth between the rich and the poor. Many of them are self proclaimed. Even though their economics or political system may not agree with them. And here's my citation. And this is the end of my videos. Thank you for watching. May the force be with you.